In today's video, we will be talking about how to create different cool text animations in PowerPoint using the more transition and it's coming right up. What's up everyone, especially my fellow teachers and now online teachers because of this new normal. Sir Z here with another PowerPoint tips and tricks to spice up your presentations for teaching and making them more interesting. What I'm going to show you of course are just some examples you can practice on and from there use your creativity on how you can use these techniques to help you make your presentations look much cooler. First up, the basic text animation moving a text from one spot to another on your slide number one insert and type in a word any word for that matter since this is just a practice somewhere at the left side copy paste slide number one and we will now work on slide number two select the text and move it all the way to the other side to the right and just to make sure that there's going to be no problem go to slide number one hold the alt key and then hit f10 to pull up the selection panel at the right side in the slide select the text you type in and then in the selection panel double click the name of the selected object in this case the text and change its name to something else but make sure you start with two exclamation points followed by the new name with no space okay copy this new name you gave the selected object or text and then go to slide number two in slide number two, select the duplicate text in the slide, double click its name in the selection panel, and then replace it with the new name you copied from slide number one. All set, with slide number two selected, click on transition tab at the menu bar and select morph. With morph, as you can see the text from slide number one will appear like it moves from the left towards the right side when we go to slide number two. You can use this effect to move a text or a group of text to any multiple directions and spots by creating multiple slides, giving the text the same name and applying morph transitions to all the slides except the first one. Next example is moving a text the same way as we did in the first example but this time it will change into a different word, different size, and into a different color. Let's say for example in slide number 1 we type in the word apple somewhere at the left of the slide and for the text color let's change it to red. Duplicate slide number 1 and work on slide number 2. Move the text to the right side and then change the word to orange. Change the color to orange and then increase the text size. Again, just to make sure, give both text from slides number 1 and 2 the same name under selections panel and make sure you start typing with two exclamation points. Now apply the morph transition to slide number 2. This time, not only the text move from the left side towards the right, but it also transformed into a different word, a different color, and a different text size. For our third example, we will use the more transition to grow in and out our text. You can use this technique when you need to emphasize a word or phrase in your presentation during your class discussion. Let's type in three different words for example, stacking them one on top of the other. Duplicate slide number one four times. One, two, three, and four. On slide number two, select the first word and increase its size. On slide number 3, select the second word and increase its size as well. Do the same thing with the last word in slide number 4. Leave slide number 5 as is since we will end the effect with this one. Apply the morph transition to all the slides except the first one. As you can see as you move to the next slides, the selected words to be emphasized goes up. And when we reach the last slide, everything goes back to normal. Fourth example is moving some words from inside a phrase, a sentence, or paragraph, and then rearranging them inside a new phrase, sentence, or paragraph. Here is an example of a slide with a sentence that I already typed in, while well, slide number two contains a different sentence already entered. Same thing as before, just to make sure this will work without a snag. Even though each slide contains absolutely two different sentences, give both of them the same name in the selection panel at the right side of your screen. And of course, remember to start with two exclamation points. Apply the morph transition to slide number two, and then under effects option, hit the down arrow and select word. With this setting, whatever similar words both sentences contain will rearrange themselves to where they are to be located in the next slide. This effect will also work with individual letters as well. And that brings us to our last example in practice. 
Here I got a slide with some words already typed in, and a second slide where I wrote something different. Once again, just to make sure, give both selections the same exact name under the uh, selections panel. Apply the morph transition on slide number 2, and then under effect options, click the down arrow but this time select characters. With this selected, instead of words, the same individual letters contained in both slides will move and reposition themselves in the next set of phrase or sentence in the succeeding slide. And there you have it fellow teachers, presenters, and PowerPoint users. These are just some of the best examples on how you can use a morph transition in PowerPoint to add some cool animations in your presentations. Simply start from here and with a good dose of creativity, explore and create your own ideas on how to enhance further these techniques to create more dynamic text animations and professionally looking presentations. If you find this video interesting and most of all helpful, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing not only to help grow the channel but more importantly to give me an idea who you are by knowing what contents in this channel you appreciated and that will guide me in planning and creating more similar contents in the future to serve you more. Thank you so much for watching, I enjoyed creating this video just for you, this is Sir Z and for the meantime everyone, stay safe class dismissed.